What's the difference between GMOs and selective breeding. Selective breeding is old school. Farmers have been doing it for thousands of years. Farmers pick only the best crops or animals based on their desired traits like size, sweetness, or disease resistance, and they breed them together over generations. It's kind of like swiping right, except for crops. Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, are entirely different. To create a GMO, scientists use lab techniques to directly change the DNA. Instead of waiting for generations, they can insert genes from one species into another, delete genes entirely, or in some cases, take genes from an unrelated species. My genes are blue. Mix it all together, and you end up with an entirely new plant. A great example of this is GMO corn, which has a gene inserted to it from soil bacterium, which allows the corn plant to naturally produce its own insecticide. Are GMOs good? Are they bad? I'll leave that up for you to decide. But I will say this. Because selective breeding and GMOs are so similar in the fact that they're altering our food, many people think that certain crops are being genetically modified in a lab, even though they're not. The reality is that these are the only 14 GMO crops approved here in the United States. Otherwise, they both have the same goal of improving food. It's just that one takes place with a farmer in overalls out in the field and takes a long time, and the other is done with guys in lab coats really, really quickly in a lab. Whatever your opinion, don't GMO. Hit follow for more fun facts like this.